With Nintendo not releasing too many games that aren't ports or remasters, the game producing waters at Nintendo may have seemed a little stagnant, but the winds are changing, and there's something new on the horizon. A Zelda fever is in the air, and there are hints that something new in the Zelda universe is coming. From Nintendo's own president Shintaro Furukawa, the next direct will be in June but won't talk about the Switch successor. So what will it talk about? In addition to the lineup of games Nintendo will announce, this direct will probably lay out not only a new suspected Zelda game, but also many new potential Zelda game remasters to come out this year that we have been waiting a long time for. The new Zelda game comes as a leak from an individual who's been right in the past on many things that would have been very hard to predict. According to this news, the next Zelda game we are expecting to come out this year, or maybe even next year for the Switch 2, won't have us play as Link this time around. My Nintendo News talks about this by saying, Rumor, Leaker says Legend of Zelda game starring Zelda as the main character coming. A known video game leaker, who correctly leaked Metroid Prime Remastered Shadow Drop and Mario vs. Donkey Kong for Switch, has teased that fans should expect a new Legend of Zelda game featuring Princess Zelda as the main character. All the capital letters in the post on the social network X spell out, this is a hint. Fans have been wanting a game featuring a playable Princess Zelda for a long time, so we could finally be getting one. As always, this is a rumor, so take it with a grain of salt at present. And the leak in question from Papa Juno says, Tears of the Kingdom had a great Zelda design. I think we are severely overdue for a game where Zelda is the main character. Seems to me, a Hyrule adventure like that is something fans want. Now's the time. If you look at only the capitalized letters in this tweet, we get the phrase, this is a hint. Papa Genos has been right on many hard to predict things in the past, and this hint could be right on the money too. So what will the next Zelda game look like? This won't be anything like the terrible Philips CDI spin-off versions that came out years ago, but it will be something completely different. Will it be like Princess Peach's Showtime or Princess Peach Got Center Stage? Well, I hope it's more in depth and has a harder difficulty than the very easy and basic game playing that Princess Peach's Showtime has. I hope it has puzzles and strategy like other Zelda games, but I hope it's not just a copy and paste of one either. It would be great for Zelda to have unique abilities and different mechanics than what we've seen Link use before. Now, it very well could be a Zelda spin-off game like A New Hyrule Warriors, but start with Zelda's perspective as the main character, like her experience in the imprisoning war of Tears of the Kingdom. It could even be a souped-up 2D game like the treatment that Link's Awakening got, but be a new game from the ground up with Princess Zelda, or a whole new 3D open-world game like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, but different and built from the ground up as well. If that was the case, it might be revealed on this next Direct that it's under development, but probably won't come out till the Switch 2 is here, and it might still be a few years out. Whatever direction Nintendo will go with this game featuring Zelda, we won't be disappointed, as every Zelda game that's come out lately has been epic. If you like what you've seen so far, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on anything. Now, I'm betting there are also going to be other Zelda games presented on this Direct, since Nintendo, more often than not, wants a Zelda game released each year, and they have been focusing on many new ports and remasters this year before the Switch 2 comes out than they have ever done in the Switch's life cycle. Now, if it's with the 2D theme, I can definitely see Nintendo giving the Link's Awakening souped up graphic treatment to a 2D Zelda game like the Oracle Games Minish Cap or my personal 2D Zelda game favorite, A Link to the Past. Even A Link Between Worlds would be a great pick. Now, it very well could be mentioned at the Direct, but still not come out till later, even though I'm betting it will come out this year. One game that I'm betting Nintendo will remake that probably won't come out till the Switch 2 to showcase its capabilities and powers is a complete remake of Ocarina of Time. Not necessarily like the Unreal Engine 5 realistic looking video of Ocarina of Time, but it will be a from the ground up remake with Nintendo's own unique flair and style to it. I don't want to see the story or core elements of the game to change since we shouldn't mess with a masterpiece, but I would like to see easier play controls, extra content, and a harder difficulty. The more likely games to be released and presented on this next Direct are the long-rumored and overly talked about Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD remakes. 
I know you're probably tired of hearing about these games coming to the Switch like I am since they have been rumored to come out on the Switch for years now, but now is the perfect time for them to come. I've been waiting to replay these games in hopes that it will come to a modern system like the Switch. The long outstanding rumor is that Nintendo has been finished with remastering these games for the Switch since they have been rumored, and they're just sitting there in Nintendo's back pocket to be released when they need them to be, which Nintendo is notoriously known to do from time to time. So all of the rumors about these games coming to the Switch could very well be true, and we just have to wait for Nintendo to pull them out, which all signs point to this happening this year for one or both of these titles, when Nintendo's already relying on so many remastered games and ports while they work on the Switch 2. Now, there's a chance that Nintendo will hold off even longer to make them 4K for the Switch 2 and make them backwards compatible to be HD on the Switch. We'll just have to wait and see. But regardless of what happens, I do think that Nintendo will make them available for the Switch in HD at some point, since Zelda fans have waited for them for so long. Will they be released as a combo pack or individually? Who knows? It's a coin toss on that for me. But whether we get one or both of these this year, I'm going to be ecstatic and my eyes will be peeled at this June Direct to find out. Where we don't have anything concrete as to what will be shown in this next Direct, the timing hints that something Zelda related will be shown. Maybe it's the Zelda game featuring Zelda that we'll get a teaser about. Maybe it will be a 2D Zelda remake that we can download and play on the very day the Direct comes out. Maybe it will be a teaser of a new Ocarina of Time in development. Or maybe it will be time at last for the long-rumored Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD remakes to finally debut on the Switch, and we won't have to wait to see them till the Switch 2 comes out. Let me know your thoughts on these Zelda games in the comments section below. What game featuring Zelda as the main player would you like to play? What other Zelda game would you like to see most on this next Direct? And with the next Direct being just around the corner, are your eyes going to be peeled to it just as much as mine? If you like this video, you're gonna love this one here.